My name is John Kotwa, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Pathobiology at the University of Guelph under the supervision of Dr. Andrew Peregrine. My project focuses on an interdisciplinary perspective for evaluating emerging zoonotic diseases with specific concentrations on investigating the role of wild canids, such as foxes and coyotes, as sentinel species for pathogens of public health and veterinary importance in southern Ontario. In particular, I'm focusing on Echinococcus multocularis and other uh, emerging vector-borne diseases such as heartworm and Lyme disease. My project looks to uh, provide timely data on emerging zoonotic diseases to forecast risks for human and animal health. Alveolar echinococcosis is a potentially fatal disease in humans and dogs when left untreated and uh, is caused by the larval stage of Echinococcus multocularis. Since 2012, five dogs in southern Ontario have been diagnosed with this disease, which was surprising considering prior to these cases, Ontario was thought to be free of Echinococcus multocularis. My project was initiated in part to address the urgent concerns from public health veterinary and the medical communities uh, to describe where in this province the parasite occurs. So my central goal through my education is to become a physician. And when looking for grad programs, I wanted to add a unique uh, element to my educational background. So the combination of human and veterinary perspectives in this field of research uh, really caught my attention and drew me to this project. It's, it's really cool being able to combine what you want to do with something you're completely unfamiliar with. One thing I really enjoyed about my project that I didn't anticipate was mapping disease data. Uh, I'm a very visual learner, and so being able to take the data that I had analyzed um, and collected myself and put it and see it was really cool and really interesting to me. Uh, a main takeaway I want uh, the audience to hear is that awareness is key. Um, being informed is one of the first steps in prevention. And also, sounds silly, but wash your hands. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how much that can actually prevent. So for my work on Echinococcus multocularis, I've actually put together a website uh, designed to provide information for the general public, veterinarians, and physicians, as well as uh, describe the current research that's going on in Ontario. And you can find that at emultiontario.com. You can also search me on LinkedIn and Twitter.